good does it feel to have most of your offense back on the field this week as you guys gear up for this game one? Um, always good to have everybody healthy. Um, just excited to, you know, get to, to Sunday and, you know, clean everything up this week so we can be ready. Every game is important, but how important is it for you and this team to start off strong week one and make a statement? Um, I think that's every team's goal, and that's what, that's what we want to do on Sunday. Go out there and play a complete game in all three phases and go out there and get a win. I feel like, I guess, the ramp up process for you win and how, how you feel, I guess, heading into the week one. You, are you, are you saying how I feel? Yeah, just, just how we were handling workload, you know, what you did in camp, how you feel physically as you're headed to a new season. Um, I'm good. I'm ready to go. Derek, what do you think of their defense? I haven't watched it on film. Obviously, they bring in JJ. Got some uh, Zayvon Collins, new guy. I know you got to watch some individuals on other stuff, but what do you think of the speed and just the overall front, front seven there? Yeah, they're 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 fast. They do a lot of different things. Um, um, also, adding uh, JJ, you know what type of player he is. Um, uh, they're they're physical. Um, they do a lot of different things on defense, run different a lot of schemes and things like that. So, just trying to watch them as much as we can, just so you know we're ready for them and you know, whatever, they th whatever they throw at us. Derek, you've talked a lot about how you don't concern yourself with outside expectations of, you know, your milestones or what you may accomplish upcoming like you know we'd asked you about you know being the first guy ever to rush for 2k in back-to-back -back years you said you don't think about that I was wondering um, who kind of taught you not to maybe concern yourself with outside noises or is that just something you cultivated on your own this is how I always been so I always think I'm not trying to get too caught up in you know all the noise just focus on what's going on right now you've done so much work, Derek, uh, you know, off on the side, catching passes and so forth when you're not doing drills. Uh, how has that helped, uh, you think? How, how, do you, how are you better at that, you know, have you progressed, I guess, over the years? I've been doing that. I'm sure, sure you come out here every day. I do it every day. So just trying to get better. Uh, pass catching with uh, running back coach, goes dudes, and just been working on anything to get better at. Every year, the enthusiasm for this organization seems to continue to grow, obviously, rightfully so this year. Excited about this offense. How much are you looking forward to seeing an actual big crowd at Nissan Stadium? How important will that be in that that opener? Um, yeah, it's always exciting to have the fans back, to have that energy. Um, you know, it makes the game more fun. Um, love having our fans heck out the stadium, a uh, loud environment. And um, just hope everybody stays safe and, you know, can't wait to see them on Sunday. You put something out on social media the other day about asking fans to kind of make something, make things for you. Why'd you maybe do that and how you maybe plan to use some of the stuff? Looks like you got a pretty good response. Well, I didn't want fans to make anything for me. I think I ordered it wrong. I just said they had anything made that, um, you know, I'd like to support and possibly purchase. A lot of people make a lot of cool creations, a lot of cool things. So. Just wanted to um, reach out and see if anybody had anything cool that I can purchase from them, and just felt like, you know, just something I wanted to do at the time. What did you see uh, when you scrolled, scrolled social media and saw some of the responses? Say again. What did you see? Uh, some of the creations that were made, um, and were you kind of overwhelmed at how much feedback you got? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, people just had paintings, all type of uh, creations. Um, I was able to uh, purchase a board from this guy that he made, like just made it look like our our jerseys, which I thought was pretty cool. It was, it was a lot of them, really a lot of them. I couldn't really really see because it was so many responses. But you know, I just appreciate you know all the responses that I did get from all the people. You know, because people are very creative and they put a lot of work in you know to their art and you know what they call their their habits and their and their, basically their job. So just appreciate all the responses and all the cool things that they came up with. How much have you spent so far? Uh, I won't go that far about how, how much I spent, but it's, you know, people who've made uh, pretty cool creations that, you know, it sh should be worth a lot because by the work they put in and, you know, how it came out. A lot, of, a lot of your uh, teammates have talked about how uh, this is a team where guys want to eat lunch together and there's just a lot of closeness and, and friendships. Is that something that's it's rare, that's unique about this team. Say it one more time. You know, a lot of your teammates talk about how with this team, a lot of guys are friends and want to have lunch together, and there's just that sort of culture. Is that something that's rare or unique to this team? 
Um, anytime you're on a team, you want a close locker room, close camaraderie, and guys eat together and do all type of things together outside the facility, outside of football, and being close when you're here as well. So, I mean, that's always something that's special in the locker room. Kyler Murray a little bit through the Heisman house and kind of cool to see his career take off a little bit. Yeah, uh, got to know Kyler uh, through the, the Heisman house and, you know, doing the commercials and things like that, the type of person he is. He's a cool dude. We know what type of player he is. But, yeah, been been, been cool getting to know him.